Edinburgh Drone Company recently attended a two-day event down in Lincoln with the aim of demonstrating and discussing how UAV and robotics technology can aid emergency services with both hazmat detection and internal searching. Using and testing drones such as the Avatar, witnessing groundbreaking robotics like Spot the Dog from Boston Dynamics helps start a conversation and create a community with the sole purpose of putting this cutting edge technology to the most important use of saving lives. We interviewed the event organiser Lee Newman to find out more. Yeah, so um, I organised the last two days. One, the first day was a hazmat um, drone um, demo day. So bring in companies that provide solutions for hazmat incidents, uh, and then I bring the end users, which are the firefighters. Uh, we bring them both together so that we can learn from each other. So for incidents where there's a, a chemical release, we we've got to start using drones now. We we've always used. Um, like the old methods of chemical suits and uh, using firefighters but in this day and age we've got to start using the drones and the technology that's available to us um, and then putting on a day like we did yesterday it, it brings the, the as i said the companies and the end users together we both learn from each other and then it, we can push this back to our brigades and then they can then start utilizing this new technology for the future fire service The second day of the internal drone flying is really to push the capability of, of for urban search and rescue, like in the background there's an urban search and rescue exercise going on. Uh, they would have used uh, dogs to penetrate the buildings to search for people, but nowadays we've got drones um, like the Avata, which has just been in the market for the last year. Perfect indoor drone, you can put it into a building, search the building, you won't have to put firefighters in there. Um, and if you do find someone, then you know that you've searched it and then you can make that way into the building. Uh, so again, using the drones uh, as a first sort of hit, we can get in there, have a search, and, we, and it's taking the risk away from losing firefighters. There are other drones that we've been looking at. We've just looked at the Elios drone, which is quite good for internal search. Um, and then we've got things like the Brink, which is like a tactical drone that the police are using. And then just down to your normal Air 2Ss uh, that most services have got with prop guards. It's just basically scaling up your operations and using the kit that you've got available to you.